know where my sense is going, though? How? That Aliens trailer. All right, talk about it. Yeah, all my so We just saw the trailer for Aliens Romulus. Is that what it's called? Yes, Aliens Romulus. Yeah. All right, talk about it. You were saying? I just, it had my senses going. I mean, the sounds... And then there's one point where they like cut out the sound and now it's just like completely visual. You're only hearing like almost like a, um, like a, like a white um, noise. And yeah. Or like a, un- there's like an uninterrupted beep for a while towards the end of the trailer. But mm-hmm. that makes you like lock in yep. into what you're seeing. Um, and I don't usually want to see movies about aliens or anything like that, but I was I was locked in. I said, "Oh, I might need to see this." Because okay. My senses were just—I mean, at the risk of being overstimulated, but <laughs> my senses were definitely. I was like, "Oh, oh, oh, oh!" And the sounds and the visuals and the oh my gosh, something's coming, you know? Yep. Um. I thought it looked good. I would, I would see it. Okay, I, I don't expect good. that. I thought you were gonna say, "Why not have you watched this trailer?" No, it was not good. Okay, I mean, I've seen, I've seen some of these movies before. It's not, mm-hmm. it's not like this is not my genre of choice, but I've seen them, and I mean, usually because someone else wanted to see them, but. <laughs> Cause it's just, like I said, it's not my genre of choice. But I'm I'm usually not against seeing most things, okay. um, just because I'm a curious person and like I don't I don't write things off just because it's not the thing that I like. Um, oh, I do that. Yes, you yes, do. Guilty. <laughs> but I guilty. I don't like if it's something that I I wouldn't necessarily be drawn to, or um, I don't usually like I. I'm so open to trying it just to see, you know, if I get something out of it. Because sometimes you do. Sometimes you end up watching something that you would never watch. Um, And you're like, oh, I kind of like this. Or, oh, is there another one? Can I, you know? So that that was... There's there's plenty of alien movies. Right. And I've seen a bunch of them. Um, But I just... This this is like, if you really want to get your senses going, if you really... (laughs) You really want to make sure you're feeling inside. <laughs> right. I feel like this is a good um this is a good thing to watch. I, I think I might see this. Okay. I could hear yes, you could hear like the crackling and you could hear the slime and you you know, just uh, I was intrigued. I said, Oh, okay, and then it's like one of those look over your shoulder and I love suspense. Right. So so really anything, you know, will get me with the suspense. But, you know, the looking over your shoulder or, like, being in a pool of water and now you're looking around and you're like, you know it's coming, but you don't know which direction it's coming from. It's right. exciting. So, yeah, I thought it was cool. I was trying to find the other two movies. Okay, I was right. So these are prequels. And uh, this would be the third prequel. Why are there so many prequels? Um... Because in 2012, they did a movie called Alien Prometheus Mm -hmm. that kind of tells you how the aliens were created. Mm -hmm. And then in 2017, they did uh, a part two. So it picks up after that one. And uh, this is the third. This is the third prequel. What do you think of it? Did you see the other ones? Uh, I did. <clears throat> uh, Prometheus is weird. Uh, you don't need to watch it more than once, but I have. Uh, I want to see, did Ridley Scott, he did direct it, okay. Did he do Covenant too? He did. Okay, that's what I was going to say. I'm shocked. That was my first thought. My first thought was when I saw the trailer... I'm shocked that they're allowing a new person to direct the Aliens movies. 
uh, Ridley Scott is usually the director of the Alien movies. Uh, it's either been him or James Cameron. James Cameron did the second one. I'm just looking to double check. Uh, Dave Fincher did the David Fincher did the third one. Oh, I guess it's not that weird then. So Alien. I'm just so. Go ahead. So Alien versus Predator. So that's a side movie. It's not connected. It's its just, own. Thing, I just yeah. wanted to know. I, it was like I was sitting here and I was like, "Wait, is this?" Uh, yeah, it's its own thing. It's not. Uh, it's not in any of the other series. So if you watch all the Predator movies, it never comes up. If you watch all the Aliens movies, it never comes up. Okay. Um. No, it only comes up in those two movies. I was going to say, they, they mention it in one of them, but they mention it in Aliens vs. Predator 2, which shouldn't exist. But anyway. Um, actually, I'm wrong. After looking, uh, Ridley Scott did not direct all of them. He only directed half of them. Uh, but anyway, whatever. I was shocked to see that a person who does horror movies is doing this movie, especially because I am not a fan of those other two movies. One I saw, one I did not. Uh, the, the the movies that are mentioned in the trailer that the director did. Uh, but I am curious to see how this horror person is going to do the Aliens movie. Uh, so that made me curious. And the trailer doesn't look bad. It looks like an Aliens movie. Uh, I'm curious to see what twists they'll use. It seems like there's already some twists with the trailer. Um, so I think that what you said hits it on the head. Uh, one of the movies has to do with like a deaf guy or something like that, if I remember correctly, um, that he directed. So damn, it says it in the trailer. I forgot the name of it. Where you are, you know, on your way to start the day. I am on the opposite side of things. And my brain is like, I'm not really sure right now. Spade Alvarez. Okay. Just pulling up his filmography because they mentioned some stuff. Don't Breathe, right. Okay. Don't Breathe is the one that I remembered. Uh, oh, The Girl in the Spider's Web? That's interesting. Uh, he was a writer for this, not a director. Oh, okay, whatever. I don't need to deep dive then. Anyway, whatever. I think it's interesting. Uh, it looks good. I like the crackling. Of the... Yeah, that's cool. That was cool. Um, I mean, you pretty much know what you're getting with Aliens. And I think that was the problem with some of the first these prequels. That first one was really not like an Aliens movie until like the last few minutes. It was a super slow build up of kind of like the history and all this and all that. It was kind of weird. And um, Prometheus was not Prometheus was more like an interesting ride to take, but not really the default Aliens movie. Uh, Covenant was more of that kind of movie. I think they knew they had to make up for Prometheus. And so maybe this would be a nice way to round it out and finish out the trilogy prequels, prequel trilogy. Uh, I watch all the Alien movies. I'm, I watch them. I own the first four, the original four. I own them. I watch them. Um, I'm all for it. I will be watching this one, and that's why I said, "Oh, let's see, let's see what Dash thinks." Almost broke everything just now. Um, <laughs> you saw that, right? Yeah. I, I went to lift my hand, and I smacked everything. Uh, so yeah, I was like, "Oh, let me see what Dash thinks." And so yeah, maybe it'll be a, a what you like to call them a, a a pod field trip. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do a little pie field trip, that one. I think that. We'll yeah. Yeah. So that was interesting, um, and I think I think it's worth a watch. Plus, I feel like I've seen all the other ones, so. So you guys see this one? Why not? Right. Yeah, I usually feel like that if I started the series or started some sort of. Oh, I I'm not. I know you don't, but me, I have to like. Again, I'm a very curious person, so like my curiosity like makes me I can't I can't look away like I gotta finish it I gotta get to the end like, but like I, I love I loved House of Cards 
Yeah. I still have not seen the last season of House of Cards. I haven't seen the last season either. See? Perfect example. Also, anyway, I see the last season of Orange is the New Black. Oh. I never watched that because I felt like they were trying to make the new version of Oz and I already watched Oz, so. Oh. Orange is the New Black was great, but I just never, I never finished it. Not for any, I just kept saying, yeah, I'm going to, like, next week I'm going to watch it. And I just never finished it. It was, there was no real reason. I wasn't mad at the way it had turned out or anything like that. But. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, and then House of Cards. And this whole that situation got weird. <laughs> so. Yep. It sure did. Because um, Kevin Stacy is an asshole. A crying asshole at that, but we won't. Totally I, I wanted I wanted to cover the topic, but somebody said no. I didn't say no. Did I don't even recall us talking about following up. I I don't remember. We can talk about it. we'll talk about it on the next episode. You got it, boss. <laughs>